Reynolds and Kome, mm -hmm. and you know, uh, not you know, not a a Shoto per se, because yes, that's been a hot topic of conversation this week. But you know, it was <laughs> it was still an FGC character, you know, going up against Shulk, and you you could potentially see those similar problems arise here, you know, for um, uh, Meta as they are rocking uh, the World Warrior Ryu going up against uh, Shulk here on uh, Pokemon Stadium Two Ajax. Yeah, so here's one of the actual Shotos, and now one of the things that can ma struggle for this matchup too. Look at that! Look at just a footsie game, just like it's literally just playing good nooch, just walking back, waiting for a whiff aerial, and going in. But the, oh my god, that was almost such good object coverage. One of the things that Shulk has is offstage fair and upbeat. The, the air slash beats out Tatsu. So I think part of why Maida might have went Ryu is instead of trying to play more combo heavy, you go for the early earlier KOs with Shoryu to get guaranteed kills. And you gotta watch out for that, that car cancel off that down smash. That can makes you up pretty hard into a Tatsu. Yep, and you're seeing uh, Rick, the, the, the Hadouken played a big role here as once you like we mentioned the Tatsu with the kill off the top. So Meta uh, striking first here in this game one. Oh my goodness, sheesh. Yeah, I, I mean, we're already seeing it play out because if that was Ken, that's not killing there. So you go for the consistency of KOs versus the, the mix-ups of like the kill pressure. These cancels off the focus and tap, the mix-up, the landing though, that was so good. Uh, now, I, honestly, like Coop, I, I, I'm playing, I'm playing passive. I'm letting, I'm letting Sword or Sir Knight here approach me so I can punish him hard. Yeah, no, 100%. You know, any sort of time when you find yourself an advantage and you can sit on a lead, uh, you do so, especially when you're a character where, if, if, you know, if you uh, up, approach, a, uh, you know, without a disjoint, it can really be disastrous for you. As you see, uh, you know, Sir Knight, you know, maybe trying to sneak an early kill in there with, with the smash art, but you can immediately go back to the uh, to Buster to, you know, to uh, maybe increase this damage, make the kill a little bit easier uh, to get. Yeah, EX Aduke is such a good option there too because the multi-hit, just the, the, the damage it gets for checking Shulk for jumping too much, it's a pretty solid projectile in the matchup because it lets you fade back. And so far it's been consistent. It, it's it's a good annoyance tool. Eventually that F-Tilt will find its mark though. Alright, yep. 71% on the on the tab right here. And, you know, Vanilla Shulk doesn't really do a lot for you in, in, you know, in most of these defensive categories. And, you know, now that it uh, in jump, that could be even more dangerous as your defense is... Uh, are dropped, but you know, certainly able to get back to the stage. Yeah, and you know, it, it's so funny watching the way that like Mida breaks down the ledge. But what the, the backers have been such a cons consistent KO option out of them. You talk about how hard it is to land backers. Wow, that was not a trade you'd like to take there. The Tatsu kicking you on the other side. There we go. Once <laughs> the, the, the slow walk back, man, it's so scary as the down. Uh, Tilt does not connect into the Tatsu, but the second time around uh, does connect right there. So Maida opening up a, a big lead here. Spin the win, baby. Just keep it up. Now, uh, this is, this. it's still Shulk. This is one of the characters we talk about all the time that is one of the best characters that's not played enough. It's such a strong yeah. character. But yeah, all you need is just like a few openings like this and you get a solid KO off of Smash if you can keep that damage down. Yeah, one of the higher skill floors in the game is Shulk. So, you know, uh, this character isn't necessarily like super beginner friendly, but the ones that can showcase how this character functions uh, can really, really do well as, uh, you know, a great catch, uh, you know, on the high Tatsu right there, uh, you know, from Sir Knight as, uh, you know, the, the ultimate X Factor, man. Uh, I talk about that a lot with these characters, but the, uh, the Monado arts are so uh, huge and can really turn the balance of the game. Yeah, if you could keep that up too, like you, you're you getting in a position where you could get these up airs to keep focus attack from happening. Good spacing here from Sir Knight. That all oh, almost had the roll read with the down air. Oh, that gets it again though. Buster's on deck. This damage is evening <laughs> back up is what I would have said. Wow, that was gnarly. Dude, that, that was... That's not even a banger of a game one. Like that was easy. That was going heavy in Midas' favor to start, and certain night woke up in that last game. Yeah. Couldn't close it, but I think we're gonna see a tremendously closer here, uh, closer game here in game two. Yeah, no, we'll see what this, uh, you know how this game two fares here, because like we mentioned, you know there was. Uh, uh, you know, Cernet was right there. You know, he, he, uh, they were really, really close. But, you know, unfortunately, the explosiveness of Ryu uh, proved to be too great, uh, you know, for Shulk right there. So let's see if running it back to Pokemon Stadium 2 was the wise choice. Yeah, I don't disagree with it too much because, like, it, you it, you were able to get in. You have plenty of room to reset if uh, Ryu tries to play too heavy. But you also want to keep Ryu out. Like, the last thing a Swordy wants is somebody who's a brawler archetype that consistently is in on him. So I'm not, I'm not too surprised we ran it back. 
All right, well, let's see how it uh, shakes out here. You see Buster once again being a, a phenomenal uh, early percent, you know, Monado art. Oh, ooh, air slash. Yep, yeah, you have to time it. That was very good. That was good defense, but that you can only dodge it so much. Net counter is not something we're going to see too often because you can get hard punished by a Ryu combo, but it is good in, in small doses. Yeah, no, in that instance, it definitely proved to be effective as now we see Meta getting themselves back into the game here. A couple of up airs. Ooh, oh, oh my goodness. Making it, that was that could have been absolutely dangerous, man. I never want to sit and chill for too long against Ryu because it absolutely terrifies me to no end. Yeah, literally at any given point, you might get shield poked, you might get shield broken, you just get blown off, and you, and you, you want to roll or, or something, but they just auto correct and catch you on the other side, anyways. At least shield was there to prevent the attempt to, to, to go on the shore you because anything else that would have been a dead Sir Knight, but Sir Knight draws first blood. Yeah, uh, that, that up air poking through the bottom of the platform. Proved crucial there, and uh, the side B through the uh, the speed Monado. I believe that's another one. It also lowers your defenses a little bit. So, uh, you know, excellent stuff right from right there from Meta to get themselves uh, back on even stocks. Yeah, I believe I, I I'm fairly certain that that was another Karo cancel tool. Like started off and immediately canceled into side B to kind of mix up the timing. But th this is this is exactly what we expected to see after that. The way that last game went, Sir Knight really kind of woke up as it went along. This is a significantly more even matchup. And he's doing a much better job of spacing, but particularly tech chases have been much better. Yep, the auto turnaround off the parry will provide another opportunity uh, for a combo for Mida. But Sir Knight, you know, still you know maintaining a slight lead here, and uh, the Speed Monado once again doing a great job closing this, uh, the gap and allowing them uh, to set up for this edge guard. Oh my god, yeah, you're done. You're done. The, the, you need the focus attack to get by that or to dodge it. It's just in a, a nearly impossible thing to deal with once all those resources are, are used up. It's such a good counter, uh, like, Shoto recovery tool. All right, there you go. Once again, the forward throw to set up a ledge turn scenario. Whoa! Uh -oh. You know what? I agree with that. I'm pretty, I pretty. I don't know if he's Tatsu there or if he tried to shore you to trade, but you get hit by another foreigner and you're dead there. So you just mash your fastest option to get out of that. Yeah, excellent, excellent awareness there from Mida, as uh, this could potentially be looking down the barrel of a, uh, you know, of a third game here uh, between the two. Asterna has really stepped up his, uh, you know, their game this, uh, this second game. Yeah, this is looking significantly more difficult here. Now you're gonna get forced off stage, forced tied to recovery Tatsu, and you absolutely bait out that air dodge. That's it's just you have so many good frame trap aerials that if even if you want to, if you do a bait back forward air, you're gonna force the air dodge anyway. So that was just good reaction coming in from Sir Knight, and I'm happy that we're seeing this game three because this has been a really good set. Yeah, the punish game uh, was huge in that second game for. Uh you know, for uh, Sir Knight, as we've seen the switch to the bad man, uh, Mr. <laughs> Masters himself, as, uh, you know, as uh, Ken Masters will be uh, be taking on this uh, last game here, uh, you know, for Mida. So what do you think the switch to Ken will provide here uh, that Ryu wasn't doing in that second game? Well, first off, I'm team hashtag good man because Kazuya is coming. But uh, I think the switch here to uh, to Ken is m ideally more so he wants to get better shield pressure like that. He wants to make Sir Knight stay grounded because you only get you get small strings with Ryu from E4. But you're not going to contest them in the air nearly as much. This one, it lets Mida contest them a lot more often in the air, albeit same recovery issues. But I, I, I think I think that makes a, a bit of the difference in the matchup to try and make them stay a play play at least a little bit more grounded. Yeah, I think, and also I think maybe being a little bit more fleet of foot, like you mentioned, the shield pressure, going to be huge here. You know, whenever uh, you know Mida gets an opportunity to do so, <laughs> the anti-air uh, DP, uh, you know, going to come through right there. So at least you know for the time being, a slight lead here for Mida. Ye hey, oh faithful raw DP or just wake up DP. Sometimes you something just catch people off guard, especially people with big jump habits. But there we go. There's that stutter step, the movement. It's gonna be easy to kind of just like get out of range that instant back here to get the punish. Can you get the ledge trap though? He really needs to get some just some kind of whiff aerial mistake. Or just call out a short hop nair like that on startup. That was so good. Yeah, that's the second time the uh, the shore you can uh, you know call down a jump right there. So excellent stuff right there from Maida. And like we mentioned, you know we've seen it time and time again. Uh, Ajax, you know whenever it can, uh, as a down air will connect the smash uh, uh, the smash art. You know providing uh, enough power to get that kill. But you know you've seen it enough times when Ken's up close and you're blocked like that and you don't know how to react. 
that the combos that can lead to a lot of damage very quickly. Yeah, and there we go. The shield pressure again. This 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 switch is definitely looking significantly better. It is still. I still think Starlight looks really good, especially here at the ledge. If you could just force him there again, but it's. Just, I think a big key factor is mostly just the speed of Ken we're seeing so far. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, that's maybe maybe something in, uh, on the uh, the terrain. Maybe he, he can run <laughs> a little bit faster in, in his gi. I'm not sure. <laughs> This really should be running around all terrains with no shoes and not caring, but you don't need to care anymore when you can confirm and to assure you like that. Yeah, uh, get, once again, a, a pretty sizable lead oh. right here for uh, for Mida, but the, oh my gosh, I, that, the fact that that almost killed was absolutely uh, insane. The power of, sm of, of the Smash art uh, is not to be uh, slept on. Yeah, now here we go. Once again, you're going to be forced into a situation where you got to respect them on landing. Mida doing so good at just keeping them like out in that is weird to say because you're looking at a short you're looking at shulk but oh there we go the double fair connection gets the big combo here follows him all the way on the platform tries to read him on his landing but sword put out the aerial fast enough to stop what could have easily been a kill combo yeah no that, that could have been a uh, very disastrous for uh you know for sir knight just uh, just as uh smash art was on the way out able to get that up tilt to get the kill so no, listen this isn't anything that can be easily made that can't be easily made up uh, if you're Sir Knight, but let's see if Meta is going to give uh, them that opportunity. Oh, good reaction. Switching it up to, I mean, I, the forward smash might have just killed anyways, even if it was a non shield, uh, shield art. But shield is gone. Now you're at bad man percents. You're at a raw. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're at that raw oh sure you percent. There it is. The anti-air. We saw it a few times already out of them. And somebody launched out their seat. <laughs> Yo, Sir Knight. So I like flew away from the stream, man. Like, I, I, well, it do be like that sometimes. But incredible for Mida taking it. Uh, it well, actually, I, I'm not sure which one it was, honestly. But like, it's just shot, incredible for Mida uh, taking it in that set. This is that we were talking about it before. Incredible player. Um, really, really good at breaking.